Hello everybody, this will be a tutorial on how to use sim integration with Azure AD and the platform. Let's begin. The first thing you're going to do is log into the Microsoft Azure AD platform and go to the admin page. Next, you're going to go down to Azure Active Directory. And then from here, we're going to click Enterprise Applications. From here, we're going to select New Application. And then we're going to click Create Your Own Application. Let's put in a name for our application. And then we want to make sure Integrate any other application you don't find in the gallery is selected. We're going to click Create. Now that we've created our application, next we're going to go down to Provisioning. And we're going to click Get Started. We're going to select provisioning mode from manual to automatic. For the admin credentials, we're going to put in this URL that you can find on our documentation page for Azure AD Skim integration. And then our secret token, we're going to get from the platform. In order to set up our Skim integration and to get our Skim token from the platform, what we're going to do is from the dashboard, scroll down to Company. Click Company Settings. We're going to scroll over here to Skim Settings. Click New. We're going to name our Skim integration. We're going to click Next. Choose the target group that you would like to synchronize the users to. If you haven't already created a target group, please create one. If a group is not chosen, the users will be synchronized to a single group under the People tab in the Target Users menu. The Group by feature allows you to synchronize users by their department or a custom map field. If you enable this feature, all users will not be synchronized to only one group, but instead everyone will be assigned to their own mapped target group. You can leave this option empty if you want to synchronize users to only one group. We're going to click Save. Once you see successfully created skim integration, we're going to take our skim token. It's going to populate on the platform here. And we're going to put that secret token in here. Next, we'll click test connection. Once we see that the test connection was successful, we can click save. Once again, you'll see successful updated. Next, we're going to go back to our provisioning screen. And we're going to click Edit Provisioning. We scroll down under Settings. We're going to leave all this stuff alone. Under Scope, you'll see here we have two options. We can either sync all users and groups within your Microsoft Workspace, or we could sync only assigned users and groups. We recommend choosing sync only assigned users and groups so you can choose who gets synced into the platform. Syncing all users and groups will sync all of your users within your Active Directory into one user group. For this case, we're gonna sync only signed users and groups. And we're gonna click Save. Next, what we want to do is we want to go into Users and Groups. And we want to assign a new user. Under Users and Groups, we're going to click None Selected. And we want to select our users that we're going to be adding to our Skim integration. Click Assign. And now you'll be able to see our users or group of users that we've added into our Skim integration. Next, we'll click on Provisioning. We're going to click Start Provisioning. Once you've started your provisioning, you'll see users populate on the platform within a few minutes. Azure AD also rechecks this application for new users or any changes to the users every 40 minutes. This completes our tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.